Matt, congratulations. A very good performance, but we should start with the moment of the half, which changed it all. Eastley were competitive for large parts of the first half, but Cameron and Miley's red card, how did you view it? Um, yeah, I didn't think it was a great take. I, I couldn't see it overly, to be honest. It, was, it happened in a flash, and uh, they're, they're obviously complaining, complaining about it. Um, ben Strebens was happy with the decision. I don't really know. I mean, I don't want to sit on the fence, but you know, I'll watch it back. But I'm more concentrating on really the first half an hour, which I thought was uh, very competitive. I thought it was a, a very hard fought, quick tempo, full of energy game. It probably lacked a little bit of quality. We couldn't really get on the ball uh, so much, but. Uh, yeah, the sending off has changed the game, no doubt. Um, but to capitalise straight away with a, with a splendid free kick, uh, and then for David to score a second before half time was great. Yeah, reminds us a bit of Maradona there, the way he ran past all those East League players. He's been key this season. He's been popping up with assists and definitely a few more goals. How important is it now that he continues that run of form through this tough period we're about to go into? Yeah, not just David. We've got goals coming from all over our team. We look at threat set pieces we scored from one last week. Our wide players are full of energy and cre uh, creativity. Our front to a right handful, goals from midfield. Uh, things are going okay at the moment, and you know we've managed to come out scoring an unbelievable goal from from Eastman uh, in, in the second half. And you know we maybe should have had more. Yeah, absolutely. Let's also cover the fact that the defensive performance was great today. It's another clean sheet at home. It's looking a little bit better at the back now and. There's confidence starting to brew in these boys at the back and as a defender yourself, I'm sure you take great pride in keeping clean sheets. Yeah, definitely that's our fifth now in 15 league games, so one in three we're keeping a clean sheet, which is another huge positive. The two centre-halves were outstanding today. Uh, full-backs, not only are they good defensively, but they like to get forward as well. So I'm pleased with the whole team and where we're at the moment and Dean Vazanis, you know, when called upon there, making a great save and his talk and his experience there is, is really helping the back four as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing really seems to phase him, though. especially last week he had that error, but he came back brilliantly today, especially at the end when he was almost caught out by that long-range effort. Yeah, he's just a you know a flash shot from round round about the halfway line, but you know managed to recover well, get back into position, and, and make sure we get that clean shit that we deserved. Excellent. Let's now talk about the matter at hand. Certainly heading into Tuesday, as I understand, his second <coughs> position because we're, we're Hartlepool didn't pick up points today. So this game against Torquay now becomes incredibly important. It's a huge game. Sutton have not been as close to first place for a long time. How key is it? You had to Devon on Tuesday pick up a result against a very strong and combative side in Torquay who just seem to be on all firing all cylinders at the moment. Yeah, obviously, they are doing well and they've uh, picked up some really good results and good performances this season. But uh, we're just looking at it as like any other game. We've played 15 league games, we're a third of the way through. Um, we're full of confidence, we're on a good run. We've picked up 30 points in 15 games. And I'm sure they'll be worried about us just as much as we'll be looking into them. And it's, you know, we, we've all our focus this week has been on Eastleigh. We've now got that out of the way. Myself and Jason and, and Jamie will be looking at the videos of Torquay tomorrow, preparing for that, just like it's any other game. And, and we'll be going there to try and get a result like we would do in every National League game. Absolutely. Uh, finally, just to touch on, obviously, there was a few knocks or uh, and bruises for some of the players there. Are they all okay for Tuesday, or is there anyone who won't be able to? Yeah, no, it? I believe so. I haven't spoken to, to Bobby fully yet, but no, I believe um, we've all come out of that fit, fit bill of health. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to Tuesday's game. Excellent. Well, well done today, Matt, and we we'll hope to speak to you again on Tuesday. Brilliant. Cheers, Arnie. Cheers, Thanks, mate. mate.